Good morning, Coach Angela here. We're gonna be going over our flow class. So this, the focus of this class specifically is on heart opening. So your challenge as an instructor this week is to do a lot of physical interaction with your clients. A simple touch on the shoulders to help relax and open up the heart, uh, a hug when they walk in the door or adjustments in Savasana to help lengthen out their hips or relax their neck will make a huge difference, not only in their experience in the class, but also their day outside of class. So that's your challenge for this week. Uh, we're going to begin in tabletop. So you're gonna be doing cat-cow five times, holding five breaths each, so that way you have the chance to really elaborate on the uh, pose itself. So I like to begin on um, with toes tucked under for cat. So we would exhale arching the spine, and it gives them a little bit more force in the feet to really press their spine up to the sky. They'd be tucking their belly button in almost like they were gonna kiss it. And then inhale, untuck the feet, opening up through the heart and the chest, and repeat that five times. From there, we we're exhaling back into down dog, giving them a few breaths here just to get settled. And then we're gonna do the same thing alternating between down dog and turbo dog. So in our turbo dog, we're going to drop the knees until they're just a little bit um, hovering over the mat. You might even cue walking hands out and pressing the chest down to the earth and then exhaling back into down dog, walk the hands forward into turbo. Five times through there, that's really gonna warm up the shoulders. From our final turbo dog, we're going to inhale, arch and unroll into plank position and exhale back to down dog. We're gonna do a sun salutation, look up, soften the knees, step all the way to the top of the mat, inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, cactus those arms, remembering that we're doing a lot of heart openers today, so this is important. Inhale and exhale, swan dive down, inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, plant hands, step back to plank, lower all the way down into cobra. Inhale, up. Exhale, forehead to mat, tuck those toes, plank position in one breath, back to down dog. Soften the knees, look up, step all the way through. Inhale, up, extended mountain. Exhale, clasp hands at the low back. Inhale, opening the heart. We're going to release back into that standing mountain and cactus the arms, I believe, five times. Yeah, five rounds or five breaths here. So we're going to hold. And in that cactus, you really want to engage the glutes, making sure, especially cactus, as people are warming up, they're going to start going into back bends and the glutes are gonna help protect compression in the low back. Now, I have a lot of problems with my low back, so I never get into a deep back bend. I'm mostly just focusing on the heart opener. But for those women that really enjoy that deep back bend and that heart open, just make sure you're cueing appropriately for them. Then we're gonna inhale up and exhale, swan dive down. Halfway lift, we're gonna go into three rounds of Cobra in our sun salutation this time. So you're going to inhale, again, squeezing those glutes. Exhale, forehead to mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forehead to mat. One more time, this is the one I like to hold a little bit longer and ask them to expand their rib cage. And then exhale, forehead to mat, tuck the toes, plank back into down dog. We're gonna inhale, right leg lifts, and we're actually going to cross it over that knee and come into a four figure or figure four stretch here in our down dog. So they might soften the back knee slightly, flex that foot, and then push back into that down dog. So it's like they're doing a standing figure four stretch. From there, we will plant the right foot, inhale into a low lunge, and we're going to do tippy toe forward rolls, five breaths or five times. So they're rolling forward, making sure the knee is not coming over the toe, five times. We're going to release into a kneeling crescent. So the back knee drops. We're gonna go into five rounds of lengthening. So stretching that hip flexor, lengthening here. And then we'll go into a slight back bend, clasping the palms together. And then our release is going to be runner's lunge, step it back into down dog and repeat. So left leg lifts, cross it over, figure four stretch, release, 
low lunge, tippy toe roll five times, kneeling crescent, lengthen five times, slight back bend and release. So from there, we're going to meet an extended mountain pose at the top of our mat. So from here, if we step back to down dog, just walk the hands back. Inhale up, cactus five times here. Inhale up, exhale. You can also add some twists in here. Exhale over the left, exhale over the right. From here, exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it out to plank. Option to add in that chaturanga or stay at cobra, whatever feels best for you today. Back into down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. We're gonna go into scorpion. So you're gonna transition into a plank, pointing that back toe like a scorpion's tail, almost like you're going to tap the back of your head back into down dog. You're gonna do that three times. Inhale, you'll need to demo this because they're not going to know what you're talking about unless they're super advanced. And then we're gonna plant that right foot, drop the left foot down for warrior one. So they're already in foot placement before they even stand up and inhale up. From here, arching warrior, we're gonna bring hands to low back and then scraping down our tailbone, open the heart. So we've already talked a lot about heart openers and they should feel comfortable engaging those glutes to protect the low back compression, but we also want to be sitting up and out of the rib cage so we're not just hunching over and squeezing here. They really need to sit up nice and tall, open the heart, not compress the back, squeeze those glutes, and hold for five breaths. Ten breaths, sorry. From here, we're going to exhale, fold forward into our lizard pose. So we're going to heel toe that right foot to the outer edge of the mat, drop the back knee, and just hold here. Now, we're gonna go into our cat cows again, but it's gonna be a little different this time. So they can stay on the back knee or they're going to raise it up. We're gonna widen out the hands up on um, our fingertips outside the width of the mat, come off of that back knee to make this more challenging, and then we're going to lower down and back up into our cat cow. So we're almost folding the chest down to the earth and inhaling it back up. So they're gonna notice that the outer hip lights up in that great leg. You're gonna look over your right, look over your left, and then last but not least, hold here for an additional five breaths before you drop the back knee, which is going to release you. Plant those hands, walk them in, heel toe that foot back to the center of the mat, and then step in with the back foot, inhale, chair pose, okay? So from there, we're gonna do our eagle arms. So left will wrap under the right because technically if we're on our right side, the left would wrap over the right. So left wraps under right. We're gonna hold here for at least five breaths, focusing since they're in that strong, sturdy chair pose, really expanding open in the back, lift the elbows, fingertips up to the sky. This is gonna be hard for a lot of women, so challenge them to sink a little bit deeper in their chair pose and then just work on forearm to forearm touching. So sometimes you'll see this in eagle. So forearm to forearm is kind of our goal. So that's gonna be easier when the elbows are closer to the body. We make this more challenging by lifting elbows in line with shoulders and then eventually opening out the fingertips towards the wall at an angle but that's farther down the road. From there, eagle arms, we're gonna release and go into gorilla pose, which is just where we stand on our palms face up. Then you're gonna repeat that series on the second side, doing your scorpions to arching warrior, to lizard, cat cow, to eagle arms. So now we're going to release into forward fold. This is where we meet back. We're gonna do our vinyasa. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant, jump or step back, up dog, back to down dog. We're gonna flip our dog, so right leg lifts, drop the heel to the glutes, option to stay here, or advance to flipping your dog. So we're going to come up and open that heart up, squeezing those glutes for support. Return back gently, plant that right foot, inhale up, warrior one, arching warrior, from here, we're gonna go into humble. So take a deep breath in, and then begin to dive forward. Tuck your chin, almost like you're gonna roll out of this pose. Arms come up to the sky, 
and right shoulder bumps the right knee out of the way. We're gonna hold here for 10 breaths. Inhale, back to warrior one. Eagle arms, left under right, and then transition left over right for eagle legs and hold here. 10 breaths. Then we release into forward fold and repeat second side. Repeat that series if you have time on the breath. So when we meet back at the top of our mat, we're gonna rock and roll on the back. This is my favorite pose of all time. <laughs> then we're gonna go into shoulder pose, uh, shoulder stand or plow pose. So from here, with that rock and roll, it's a lot easier to get some momentum, but most of the time you're gonna start here, legs up to the sky, kick up, grab under the hips, and then walk the hands up the back, trying to tuck the chin in and really compress the breath for a moment because they're tucking the chin in so high. So option is to release hands and hold here. Um, and then we're gonna hold for about five breaths and then release one vertebrae at a time. Now, if they're here and they're like, oh, this is great. They have the option to drop one leg and then the other and they're really gonna feel that compression in the neck. It's really great for the thyroid. And hold here. Release one leg, and then the other, and then gently one vertebrae at a time. From there, we're gonna go into fish pose. So kick those legs out. Hopefully you have a couple blocks handy, or they can roll up their yoga mats. We're going to lift the pelvis first, and we're gonna bring the hands, palms down, underneath our hips. So. And they're pressing down onto the earth underneath my glutes. Elbows in tight. Begin by lifting your heart, pressing your elbows into the mat. So I can actually lift my head off the mat, no problem here. But I'm gonna to start to lift, lift, lift a little bit higher until I can tuck the back of my neck until I'm on the crown of my head. Most of the weight is still in my forearms. I'm not crunching my neck or slamming the crown of my head into the mat. So it's in my forearms and I'm opening up in my heart and my throat. So you have the option to bring a block underneath the neck if needed. Hold there for about 10 breaths and then our release is the same way we got in. Press into those elbows, gently untuck the chin and return down to the mat. Then we're gonna go into three rounds of bridge. Reclining cow face pose um, is going to be crossing over like we're sitting cross-legged and then grab the uh, knife edge of the feet and pull in. Five breaths, release <clears throat> over to the left and look out over the right. Come back through center, we'll switch. Same thing, over to the right, look out and over the left. And then we're going to go into reclining. Oh, already did that. And then ah, big breath and exhale, Savasana.